Hello all, and sorry that I'm posting this video so late, but I've been thoroughly unmotivated to do anything for a while, and I will try to post normally again after this video. Today I'm drawing a picture based off of a song by my favourite band, Muse. This song is from their first album and it is called Muscle Museum. If you enjoy the alternative rock genre, I recommend you check Muse out. Anyway, when I went through the thumbnailing process, I listened to the song over and over again and tried to draw what I was feeling from the song. So this isn't based on anything the band itself has said the song is supposed to be about. It is more to do with what the song means to me. The final concept I came up with is a girl standing on the roof of a skyscraper that is bending in on itself and has many mannequins hanging behind her. If I'm being honest, I don't really know what the meaning behind this image is despite the fact that I'm the one who came up with it. But here's my best attempt to explain it. First, the blue colour palette and nighttime setting is inspired by the melancholy feeling that the song gives off, and it is also a reference to the album colour cover for Muscle Museum, which is monochromatic in blue. And now that I'm looking at both images side by side, even the celestial body in the background is in a similar place in the composition. The girl standing on the building is not supposed to represent anyone in particular, but is more a representation of negative emotions that get ignored either by the person feeling them or others around them. Because it is highly discouraged to feel anything but happy nowadays. The building folding in on itself is like the act of pushing down the emotions or like caving in after holding them down for so long that you can't do it anymore. And the mannequins are like bystanders or something, I'm not really sure what they are. I think I just thought they looked cool. So in the process of drawing this image, I had a bit of trouble with this perspective I chose. Because the building folding in on itself made it confusing. So as you would have seen earlier, I had a cityscape in the background. But then I realised it wasn't consistent with the perspective of the girl and the railing in front of her. So I changed it to just one building in hopefully a more consistent perspective. As I'm colouring the drawing, you can see that I only used the warm colours in places that I want to pop in the image, like the girl's face and the building in the background. This is not only effective because they are warm colours against a mainly cool coloured drawing, but also because orange is the complementary opposite colour to blue. I was excited to do the shading for this drawing because cities at night time have so much light bouncing around so the shadows are really interesting to figure out. And as you can see I kind of went for a piece by piece shading in this image and by that I mean like you can see now I'm only drawing one subject in the entire drawing, which does look a little weird being the only thing shaded in the entire drawing, and it's probably not the smartest thing to do, 
because you kind of need the outside context of the drawing to really understand how you're shading each piece of the drawing. But it worked out in the end, so um, it was fine. The shading was especially interesting in this image because usually the focal point of the drawing will be the brightest thing in the image but here, since everything around the girl's face is brighter it actually makes that area of shadow stand out from the brightness and maintains itself as the focal point which I think might have come from me just shading the girl first and absolutely nothing else Because if I didn't do that, maybe I wouldn't have come up with that effect, or at least not as well as I did, without the context of the rest of the drawing. The night sky and the mannequins in this drawing gave me quite a bit of strife because I felt like the night sky was too bland with just the moon so I kept trying to add things to it and then taking them away and then adding them and then the mannequins I couldn't quite figure out how to show the texture of the mannequins because I wanted them to be like those ones that are covered in fabric rather than made of plastic. So I had to constantly fiddle with the lighting and some brush textures that I added over the top and then t messed with the opacity of. Once I was finishing up the drawing, I decided to make the orange areas of the image pop more by adding an orange multiply layer over the top. And here is the final product. Thanks for watching and goodbye.